Welcome to this overview of Classroom Screen. Classroom Screen allows you to put all your important tools and resources on one screen, eliminating the need to change screens or tabs during a lesson. Let's get started creating our first screen. To make a new screen, either click New Screen on the left or Add Screen, then open your screen. Once the screen is open, you can add different tools called widgets to the screen. All of the widgets can be found in this toolbar along the bottom of the screen. There are 14 different tools, such as rolling a dice, picking random names, adding text, drawing, or a stopwatch. First, let's change the background of the screen. So in the toolbar, I'm gonna to click background, and there are lots of options, but for this example, I'm gonna choose a solid color. Now I'm going to add some widgets that might be helpful during a station rotation. I'm going to add sound level, work symbols, and timer. Now my widgets are all over the place, so you can rearrange them by clicking on a widget and dragging it to where you want it to be on the screen. Some of these I want larger, so I can resize a widget by clicking and then clicking on the arrow in the bottom right corner and dragging it larger. I can change the settings of individual widgets by clicking on the gear icon in the top right, and that typically just lets me change the color of the widget. And last, to remove a widget, I can click the red X in the top left corner. Now there is one more tool and feature I wanna highlight for you. That's the media widget. The media widget allows me to embed external resources like an image, a YouTube video, a webcam, or a Google slide, which is really cool. So to embed a slide deck, I am going to open the slide that I want, and I'm going to use my arrival slide as an example. In the top left of my Google slide, I'm going to click File, Publish to the Web, and then select the Embed tab. I'm going to find the yellow button and click publish and it's going to ask me if I'm sure and I am and that's going to generate this code here. So I'm going to copy that code, go back to my screen, click embed and paste the code that I copied and select run code. Once it generates, I now have my arrival slide or any slide I want to use on the screen as well as any other tools I might need during a lesson. That was a brief introduction to Classroom Screen. I hope you enjoy using this tool in your classroom.